A national apprenticeship policy has finally been drafted to enhance technical and vocational training in the country. A deputy education minister in charge of technical and vocational education training, Gifty Chum Ampofo, asked private organizations to assist government ensure its successful implementation. And she was speaking at an iWork project workshop organized by the British Council here in Accra. Labor experts have argued that the youth lack the requisite skills for the job market. Many of them therefore remain unemployed. They however find themselves in the informal, vocational and technical sectors. The sector, however, has become unattractive, hence the need for a policy to formalize activities. The national apprenticeship policy, according to stakeholders, is to ensure the vocational sector is properly regulated. A deputy education minister in charge of technical and vocational education training, TVET Giftichum Ampafu, is confident the implementation of the policy will ensure no one is left behind. We're preparing them before we get into the policy so that no one will be out of business. Because once you are trained, you know the expectation of your trade area and you're going to do exactly that to ensure that we get everybody on board. The executive director of the Council for Technical and Vocational Educational Training, Dr. Fred Asamwa, said there are two bills before Parliament which will also see to the needs of the sector. Uh, a regulator for TVET, which is being enhanced through the bill, then also a TVET service provider for the pre tertiary sector of our TVET system to ensure standardization, certification, progression, and relevance to the job market. The Director of Programs and Partnerships at the British Council, Chikodi Onye Mirela, is hopeful the policy will enhance technical education to meet international standards. As part of uh, the iWork project, um, uh, the strand for the apprenticeship um, uh, option of it to go into development of a policy instrument, you know, to govern the apprenticeship practice in Ghana, uh, and it's globally benchmarked. For the past two years, the British Council has championed iWork projects across the country. The aim of the Jobs for Youth Migration and Employment Project is to provide young Ghanaians with learning and development opportunities. The program targeted youth between 18 to 35 years within urban districts of Accra, Kumasi and Sunyan. The German Development Agency, GIZ, is funding the project.